The Honorable Member for Bruce Gray Owen Sound. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister of Veterans Affairs for his poignant statement. On behalf of all Canadians, and I believe uh, in all Conservatives, I'd offer the following additional details about the Books of Remembrance. There are a total of 512 names on display today on May the 10th, and 16 specific entries for those known Canadian heroes that are known to have passed away on May the 10th. They are Private Francis George William Floyd, Flying Officer Reginald James Dew, Private Joseph Clough, Corporal Patrick Duffy, Private Clayton Morningstar, Lieutenant Charles Casimir von Strauss-Benzie, Private Duncan McKinnon, Private Arthur Murphy, Private Stephen Payne, Private William Roberts, Private John Vaughn, Master Warrant Officer Lauren Stewart Bessie, Gunner Rex Elms, Captain Paul Rackham, Rackham uh, Carpenter Eric Caro, and Second Lieutenant Ivan Arthur Thomas. Now, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to share some personal connections I have to the Books of Remembrance. On September 18, 2006, I was in Afghanistan for my very first time on a tactical reconnaissance in preparation for my subsequent deployment to Afghanistan in 2007. Unfortunately, on that sad day, I was there when we lost Corporal Glenn Howard Arnold, Private David Robert James Byers, Shane Patrick Keaton, and Keith, I, Keith Ian Morley to a bicycle improvised explosive device. I then witnessed, Mr. Speaker, some ab the absolute resol resolve and resolution within that combat team that they were a member of and this phenomenal leadership from then Major Mike Wright. And I had the honor to participate in three rape ramp ceremonies for those four fallen heroes in Afghanistan, in the UAE, and then back in Trenton. Needless to say, I was really well prepared to understand what I was getting into and in order to prepare my own soldiers for the subsequent mission when we deployed four months later. Unfortunately, even before then, on October 3rd of 2006, in my own riding of Bruce Gray Owen Sound, we lost Corporal Robert Thomas James Mitchell. I have the honor of knowing the Mitchell family now quite well. And to, to say the least, the pain is palatable every day with them, because I know they will never forget their fallen son. Unfortunately, back to 2007, a couple months after I was deployed, out in Maywan Desert on April the 8th, 2007, Easter Sunday, I lost six of my own soldiers. Private David Robert Greenslade, Private Kevin Vincent Kennedy, Sergeant Donald Jason Lucas, Corporal Brent Donald Poland, Master Corporal Christopher Paul Stanix, and Corporal Aaron Edward Williams. This was the worst day of my life, Mr. Speaker. I, there's no other words for it. However, the only day that was harder for me personally was when I got back to Canada a number of months later and I had the honour and privilege of meeting a number of the family members and close friends of those fallen heroes. Because there's nothing you can say, Mr. Speaker. That pain is there. Those families will never forget. And that's why these books of remembrance are so important. I still wear, Mr. Speaker, my dog tags from my service in the Canadian Armed Forces. But on those dog tags, I have a washer. It's the washer that I found on the ground when we cleaned up the site from where those six soldiers were killed. I wear that every day because I will never forget those six fallen heroes. Now, the Books of Remembrance have seen the addition of nine more names from this past year, and a new page has been turned. As the Minister stated, we now have leading seaman Eric Keane, Master Corporal Matthew Cousins, Sub-Lieutenant Abigail Cowbrow, Captain Kevin Hagen, Captain Brendan McDonald, Captain Maxine Miron Morin, Sub-Lieutenant Matthew Pike, Captain Jennifer Casey, and Master Sailor, Master Sailor James McCourt. On a bit more positive note, I just found out this past week during a conversation with some constituents that in my, back in my riding at the Billy Bishop uh, Airport in Owen Sound, the Price family that knew Captain Jen Casey personally are now in the process of opening the new and future Captain Jen Casey's Cafe and Grill in tribute to, to Jen and the other fallen heroes. I'm sure all members here in the House, and for the most part all Canadians, have their own personal connections 
to some family or friend that has made the supreme sacrifice. In closing, Mr. Speaker, these books of remembrance are of vital importance to ensure that these Canadians' heroes are never forgotten. We owe this to them and their families. Lest we forget, we will remember them. There you go.